Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Lindy Sherries and in today's video I'm going to talk about BitLock City. So remember um, I bought a membership, um, I paid actually for membership. I finally, I uh, think yesterday when I logged in, I finally found out that they did um, activate my membership. So now I'm at a stage where I need to buy my package but then um, I decided to go again to YouTube, which is the place where people talk if they're not happy about something and check what's going on there, who's complaining. And also I noticed in their YouTube channel, um, usually when they do a live presentation, they will keep people to comment, to comment on the left-hand side. But now they did switch off that part. I think they realized that a lot of people are actually complaining because that's where I would get most of my information. But then I came across um, a video from, um, from Quincy. I'll leave the link on the description, then you can watch the full video. So I just put some clips for people to see uh, some of the complaints that people are having. So I remember I told you that I'm part of that group, the WhatsApp group, and also the people are complaining. So it looks like for each and every 10 people who have signed up for Bitlock City, I think three, they are happy, they are getting paid. And then sometimes they do complain about getting paid, but sometimes they do get paid. So, so far there's not much activity of people excited about getting paid so there's just um i think two or three people who are happy about getting paid and they had to wait and sometimes they would try to withdraw and then the money won't go and remember i said one person also complained about their fees so one thing that i like about quincy's video and i don't want to duplicate and say the same things uh he explains well i think this is one of the best review on BitLock City because he wasn't biased. So with me, I think uh, whenever I send something is wrong and then I'll be biased and go to the negative side. But then with him, he shared the positive and the negative side. So I'll play the clips from his video and do remember to go to his channel and also watch the full video, guys. And I, I just copied a few clips of some of the things that happened. And I think to me, these are concerning issues that we need to check. We cannot just ignore. $25 per year membership fee, uh, and then bought the first two packages. I only wanted to do the infinity line just to see how things would go. So I signed up on Friday, and before the end of the day, I logged into my account, and it looked like I had cycled three times. Now, I was very excited super excited i hadn't shared it with anybody hadn't uh recruited anybody and i had already made you know 200 dollars. right so i went to withdraw and that's when i discovered that they charge you 23 dollars every time you withdraw so went to go get something to eat and um you know by the time i got back home i was checking my blockchain wallet nothing nothing so um i slept on it so I logged into my account, and this is what I saw. And in my mind, I'm thinking, Hell no, till the no, no, no. And so at this point, I'm just thinking, like, what's going on? Uh, did they send me money to my wallet, and this just reset? So I checked my blockchain wallet again. Nothing. So I'm a little, I'm a little anxious. I click on the payments, right, and I see that now it's only showing two payments on the 27th nothing on the 26th all right but previously on friday i had cycled three times but you know maybe i'm hopeful maybe that uh you know it just resets every time you withdraw who knows so um as the as the day went on i kept logging in and you know the site was slow and I started seeing that, you know, my Bitcoin was starting to accumulate. I was starting to cycle. And by 4 p.m., once you look at the time on and the date, on the 27th, I had cycled twice on both levels. And so I attempted to withdraw again, all right? Wanted to see if I would be able to withdraw. And at this time, they had actually added the Google Authenticator touch. Um, but as soon as I tried to withdraw, I got this message that says that I had already tried to withdraw, so I couldn't withdraw. All right? And uh, this is this is the 27th. I'm starting to get a little anxious, starting to um, uh, feel like you know I might have been taken. You know, the little hundred dollars that I spent might be gone. And so I went to bed, slept on it, woke up the next day, 
Check my Bitcoin wallet. Nothing. <laughs> And so I submitted a support ticket. All right. Um, asked them what was going on. Uh, let them know that I couldn't withdraw. Um, and then I logged on to their official Facebook page. Right. And this is where I became concerned. Right. Because I started to see a lot of people having problems, having issues and, you know, starting to con be concerned about, you know, this being a scam. So I sent Bitlossy's official Facebook page a message. Right. I said, I've had payments disappear from Friday and now pending payments I do have are not able to be withdrawn. What's going on? And they sent me just this general message. All right. And then I, uh, I let it go. All right. Nothing changed on Sunday, went to bed. And then when I woke up on Monday, I received this message from this lady. Jaden messaged me and she says, Hello Quincy. Thanks for reaching out to Bitlossy. Mind you, I didn't reach out to her. She responded to me after I sent a message to Bitlossy's official Facebook page. This is Jaden, the trusted volunteer's customer service agent. And I said, hey Jaden, why aren't withdrawals working? All right, just cut to the point. I'm sorry, the system is having a glitch due to the massive inflow of people joining Bitlossy. And it was, it was very slow, all right? Um, and then I said, when will withdrawals be available? And she said, what packages are you on, sir? And I told her, I'm on the first two levels. And she said, well, You've got to buy two more packs through the emergency wallet address. What Bitcoin app was used to buy the first two packages, sir? And at this point, I'm like, what? Wait, wait, wait. You can't withdraw your funds if you're in the infinity line? You know, this is when I'm starting to get triggered. All right. And I let her know I use blockchain to withdraw the funds, Coinbase to send the funds. All right. And then she said, nope, you can't until level four. If you can, I'm available to take you through and your first withdrawal request will be initiated immediately in four to five hours. And I let her know, I was like, you know, this was never mentioned in any of the videos. Why would it change after the launch? She said, I'm sorry, but we just had to do this so we could get more people moving up for others coming in newly. This is very shady. This will cause people like me to make videos about all these changes. It's going to hurt the credibility of Bitlocity. And she says, it won't because the earnings have increased and every hour you're gifted now. And I said, this was supposed to be wallet to wallet. You were supposed to be able to earn without recruiting. Now you're telling me that I have to upgrade packages that require recruiting in order to withdraw my earnings. This isn't going to sit well with people who trusted Bitlocity. And so she says, yes, I'm sorry, but I assure you, ma'am, you aren't losing money because you're actually going to get, you're actually going to be getting paid hourly if you get on the platinum or pearl level. Now you're eligible to earn $50 every hour. So this triggered me because first of all, she called me ma'am. And I'm clearly a guy. So I said, ma'am, oh, that's cute. Pronouns, he, his, him, sir. She's like, I don't know you. I'm sorry I use ma'am, but I can't edit it. It's been sent. I mustn't delete messages because it's being traced. And that would be a criminal act to delete messages. And I said, oh, this is going to be great content, no doubt. Because it is great content. It's comical. I'm sure some of you guys are laughing. But it's not really. Uh, and then I said, can you link me to the video that tells us we'll earn $50 per hour every two days on the Platinum or Pearl level? I've never heard that. If you heard about that, let me know in the comments. Um, and then, you know, we go on and on. And, you know, I confirm that she says that she's from Bitlosity or whatever. Um, but like I said, I didn't reach out to her. She reached out to me. And I don't know how she would have known that I sent a message to Bitlosity. So by the time I finished this conversation... I record that conversation and I post it all on, you know, their official Facebook page to people's comments. I'm sure if you go to their official pa Facebook page, you'll see the whole string of conversations. But at this point, I'm very uh, concerned, but it's Monday and uh, we have another um, presentation where they say that they will release um, withdrawals or you'll have the ability to withdraw on the 2nd, all right, the 2nd of March at uh 12 p.m on uh pacific time so i wait till you know the second all right and so uh we log in and as you can see it's uh just before 6 a.m uh on the second and look at this now it looks like i've cycled three times on the second on on all levels one two three times until you go over to the transaction hash and all the transaction hashes prior are still the same 
this is when I start to really get concerned, okay? Because when I check the videos that I made, since I record my screen, when I log in, my transaction hashes are the same, all right? But these dates have changed. So that really threw things off. I decided to just wait. Just wait it out. Hold your horses. Stop Stop thinking negative thoughts. Let's just see if the, uh, you know, the deposit hits your Bitcoin wallet. Lo and behold, nothing. Nothing all day. Now, lo and behold, I log into Bitlocity again this morning, and the dates on the pending payments has changed again. Now, the dates range from February 26th all the way to March 1st, right? So what I do is I start to copy the transaction hashes, and then I go over to blockchain.com. I uh, enter in those transaction hashes to verify the dates, right? The dates end up matching with blockchain. So I think there was maybe a, a glitch with uh, Bitlocity on that part. All right, now I did get a little distracted because I saw you know, the value of the transaction at that time and it kind of blew my mind. Oh my God! Made me think all kinds of different thoughts and things like that. But when I did research, I, I understand that that value really doesn't correlate with the actual transaction. So I'll be happy to share with you though that I just logged in to my Bitlocity account and I clicked on um, you know, the money bag, went over to the transaction history and this is where things are different now. All right now it's showing that they actually paid out. All right, so I checked my Bitcoin wallet. Lo and behold, I got paid baby. Money, money, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I got paid baby velocity actually paid out now you do have that risk since they hold your funds in their internal wallet so there's always going to be that risk of an exit scan all right you look at all of these other um, opportunities you know what just happened with Burex what happened with Wiseland we were a little bumpy on this launch with velocity they paid out a little bit that could be part of the plan who knows <laughs> all right you know they could just pay out a little bit and then once the floodgates come in gotcha bitch and pull the rug who knows you have to do your own due diligence do not rely on anything that i've said on in this video do your own due diligence i am not a financial advisor this is not financial advice this is just what i did as for me and my final decision is I do not want my name to be dented. And when I build a team, I want to build a team with a company that I can trust. And at the moment, uh, I can see the team is trying and sometimes they're failing. So I'm also questioning their capability. And if, it, if it's a smart contract, the way I understand smart contract is you cannot change the code. But it looks like with them, they can change the code because I recently heard that they changed the infinity a, a line uh, a structure the way it works so uh, to me I, I'm, I'm not going to work with that and as well the complaints that people are complaining about even the ones that are getting paid they sometimes don't know what's going on so I'm not going to continue with Bitlock City because I've worked hard for my name and I do not want to build a team where people are asking me questions and I don't have answers and I still think that one day this will go and will fall or they will take people's money because um, the fact that they're still not showing their faces, even though someone from this WhatsApp group said uh, they spoke on BBC and whatever news, I still don't trust them. I, I, I mean, I, I respect them for fixing my membership fees, but I do not want to invest more money into this because it's not stable, guys. It's not stable. So if you want to take the risk, um, Go ahead. Um, there are, I think, three people from that group uh, that I've joined who are getting paid, but not often. Uh, I think I only saw one payment from each and nothing more from there. And these are the people who are also recruiting. So, guys, 
Um, and another sad thing that I noticed about um, there's people who are anticipating ever since waiting for this opportunity that will change their lives. And people are looking for opportunities that will change their lives. So now when this opportunity came and it's not delivering the way it's supposed to deliver, I mean, even the the cycling that they used to get is starting to slow down or maybe because a lot of people are starting to join um a bit of cities so maybe that's why it's slow but then i am so concerned like this video i mean this um facebook bot i think it's a bot uh, that it was designed to answer people's questions and it's not even accurate I i'm concerned about that and also um i do not want to be part of this at all and if I'm going to miss millions, it's okay. It's my mistake. I'm not going to dent my name with Bitlock City. So if you want to know more ways to make money online, ways that have been tested, you can download my free ebook from my website. Um, let me try and show you. Um, okay, so when you look at this site, uh, which is my blog, lindysherries.com, you can see there's resources so you can download this free ebook and that ebook will give you 20 ways to make money online at least 20 trusted ways to make money online i i don't think i trust bitlock city so i hope you will uh, watch the full video from quincy youtube channel and i thank quincy for recording this video because i felt like i'm crazy because uh, it looks like i'm the only one who's saying no guys this uh, it's something that i cannot trust but I think him confirming and, and also not being biased, also specifying the right things and the bad things that um, Bitlock City is doing. I think I commend him, for, I commend him from, from that. And thank you so much, guys, for watching. And I hope you do subscribe to my channel, hit the bell notification, and don't forget to like so that more people can see the video. And I hope you do enjoy your day. And I hope you do have that side hustle that you have started. And if you want to check me on my social media, um, you can check me on TikTok as Lindy Sherry's and on Instagram as Lindy Sherry's, also on Facebook as Lindy Sherry's. And you will find me. And thank you so much for your support in each and everything that I do. I do see that my YouTube channel is growing and the time, and I'm very close to be monetized. And also look out for a video. I'll be posting a video on Thursday uh, to show the money that I made from my blog. And you'll be so surprised. Thank you so much for watching.